from a policy perspective, what are the most challenging aspects of this problem, policy-wise? Well, I think from a policy perspective, it's that there's so many different layers of government that have to be engaged in this issue. Um, as I said, 43 states have adopted anti-texting while driving laws, and uh, that's a very significant development. I'd like to see those other seven step up and do the same. Is there any pressure uh, being put on them by any central body or well, your office? We, are, we have done several things as an office to try to push, put some pressure on some of the states, including drafting sample legislation that can be readily adopted by those states. And we're going to keep putting the pressure on. But it's not just that. I think probably the biggest, the biggest challenge is the fact that in our culture, people think that everyone else shouldn't do it, but they can. And we've got to change the, 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 the discussion about this because it is a, so one of those things where if everyone stops doing it, we're going to be a lot safer. Do you have any thoughts on Yeah, just to extend, extend your point a little bit in terms of social norms and expectations and what are the boundaries of acceptable behavior in our society, to me, that's the, that's the big challenge. <clears throat> you know, everyone, no one in here would, would dare take a cell phone call during this event. Uh, and we all double checked that we had the ringer off before we started because we'd be literally shamed and if we, if, our, if we had made an error and it had gone off, and everyone in the room would turn their heads to see who the offender was. But once we leave the room after this event, and we get into our car, and we drive away, and our cell phone rings, well, what do we do? Uh, in Massachusetts and in most other states, uh, it's still legal uh, for me to hold the phone and to have that conversation uh, I could at the same time, if I'm lucky enough to be driving a Tesla <coughs> Model S, I could be reading the Huffington Post on the Tesla's 17-inch touchscreen while I'm driving down the road. And then if the phone rings, uh, you know, what am I going to do? Um, it, for all I know, it's the Pope responding to the note I sent him, because he does that. Uh, and so what the heck? There, it's true that there are going to be nine Americans killed today, on average, as a consequence of distracted driving, and there'd be 1,000 injuries. But what are the odds that I'm going to be the one in the next five miles to cause that? Probably very, very low. So what the heck, I pick it up. And so there is no stigma, there is no social norm, there is no sense of shame. And the t to me, that's the number one challenge. And media will play a key role in this, 